did a sculpture that was based on this piece. It doesn't really look very much like this, but it was taken from my impressions of this piece. And I think the first time I saw this piece and just its elegance and, and uh, attractiveness, and it stuck with me. So it was the memory of it that I was working with, not any kind of uh, literal depiction. One of the things about this piece that I find just so incredible is the absolute care that obviously went into making it. The very minimal but very specific details, the beautiful arching line that's raised that makes a face or the, the, the little ball forms that make ears or jewelry. You know, the, even the way the color shifts from where it was held in the center where it's thinnest, you know, the hand has done one thing to it where the maker has even decided that at the top of what is, seems to be the head, it's slightly thicker at the very top and then just goes to a much more narrow profile. You know, I, just, I think it's an incredibly beautiful piece. But also something I think is really interesting is that it's listed as a ceremonial paddle, which really doesn't tell us anything. Ceremony? What ceremony? Paddle used for what? That's one of the things that really attracts me to this object and to a lot of objects that I use as inspiration in my work. It's clear that it has a function, that it was made for a very specific purpose, but there's nothing about it that reveals what its purpose is. That is something that I'm interested in, is that things don't reveal themselves so quickly and so easily. That they could be interpreted as many different things.